the real next step is how we will grow these complete organs in, in the lab. Then you're ready for, for whatever you want. You can make a liver, you can make a, a, a heart, you can make a lung. I'm Christophe Marquette and I'm uh, rethinking the surgery by uh, 3D printing human cells. Bioprinting is a 3D printing living tissue with uh, cells inside. The goal of this is to make living tissues, grafts or, or special tissue for our research. We've made some cartilage, we are working on, uh, on lung, uh, some people are working on liver also. Basically all these um, organs or, or tissue that uh, fail at some times, people are trying to, to make them again in, 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 in the lab. We aim to uh, 3D bioprint some skin directly on patients. The patient will be uh, some people that have uh, severe burns, so third degree burns on the skin. So we say 70-80% of the body surface which is burned. The idea is to make it directly in the, in the surgery theater. So in the vocabulary of the printing, there is the machine, the printer, and there is the ink. And in our case, it's a bioprinter, so we have a bio ink. So the idea is to take some, a few cells from the patient, not so much. This, we put this in, in the bio ink. So this bio ink need to host the cells and keep the cells alive. So they need oxygen, they need sugar, they need a lot of things, so it looks like uh, you know the gels from the from the, the hair uh, hair dressing exactly the same the same material. A lot of water, a little bit of uh, we call it biomaterial, so it's proteins and, and things like that. And then you have the robotic part, a robotic arm uh, which is moving on top of uh, of the skin and is putting on, on top of the skin some gel with the human cells inside. So the people are working as a, an incubator or uh, like a cooking, uh, a cooking uh, machine for this skin. So the people itself are working to help the cells growing. So you print and you wait. It's a regeneration, it's not a grafting. After two weeks you, should, you, sh you, might, you might have a complete skin regenerated. So that's the, the basic concept of the bioprinting in this project. So all this will come to the public and the, and the, the, the hospital uh, quite soon, I'm pretty sure. But uh, the, next, uh, the real next step is how we will grow these complete organs in, in the lab or in a special lab and uh, how we maintain them and uh, how we are able to, to implant them. In this kind of research, aiming at making large tissues, there, there's, there's two main bottlenecks. The first, the very first one is to be able to make vascularization inside because the cells, they need to have blood coming and, go, and going back. And this is very tricky, very difficult to do because the structure is, is very complex. You need to have these small tubes uh, going to a larger tube and going to a larger, larger tube. We will never graph something before being able to make this vascular uh, connection with the body it's very easy to print a large part of this idol gel, this gel with the cell, the bio ink. But make this larger part a functional organ or a functional tissue, it's another bottleneck because when this happens in the body, when you grow or when you are a baby in your, in your, in your mom, uh, Everything works together, so you have a lot of different information coming from uh, the different organs, they talk together. If you grow something alone in a lab, it's just a, a part of something alone. No communication, no information from the outside, no uh, chemical uh, information also. And it's very, very difficult to say, I have printed this part which is, uh, I have the cells for a liver, I have the shape of a liver, and I want this to become a liver. This, not possible now. Very difficult, very difficult. And the idea there is to uh, put this uh, large tissue in special devices that 
looks like you're inside the body, for example. So the temperature is controlled, you can inject some information or give some information, special information. So it looks futuristic, looks like a science fiction, but they have to be done. So then when you, when you get this, then you're ready for, for whatever you want. You can make a liver, you can make a, a, a heart, you can make a lung. So that's the, the next step. I think 20 days, 20 years, <laughs> not before. It's not so far away. Actually. Yeah, not you far. You have no doubt that this can be done. Uh, technically, no, I have no doubt. Uh, ethically, I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure about that. Even if it's useful, do we want to have this possibility to grow uh, an organ in, in the lab for someone? And what will be the cost of that? And who will benefit from this? Uh, so uh, it's a real, uh, it's a real, uh, real question. Huh? Patching some, uh, some, uh, some people that, that are burned everywhere. It's a completely different approach or completely different uh, uh, way of, of thinking the, uh, the medicine than Okay, I, I can grow your heart, I can grow your, 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 your liver, I can grow your, uh, your kidney. What, what will be the impact on the people and their, their behavior if they know that they can have this? So uh, I'm pretty sure it, it will be done. I'm not sure yet if it's uh, interesting for the society or not, but uh, I don't know.